Today we will be creating a new home for a newly obtained tarantula. It opens up from the top for ease of access and I've also added a few hinges to make it more functional. This is the OBT, more commonly known as the orange bitey thing. I got this from a local breeder and I was surprised at how inexpensive they are. They're extremely gorgeous except for one thing, they always want to bite you. But for now, I don't think this little one will be biting us anytime soon so let's save that for another time. I got this cool looking display case from my local dollar store called Daiso. It's essentially a Japanese dollar store where you can buy stationary items and household items and tons of snacks. I was aimlessly walking around until I came across a jackpot. Display cases. Tons of them. So I bought a handful of them and now I have a collection just sitting on my desk waiting to be turned into enclosures. I didn't like the way this display case opened so for safety and functionality purposes I'll be adding these small hinges that you can get from your local hardware store. For visual purposes it'll open like this. I used liquid super glue for this process but I'm sure you can use any type of adhesive. I added a small amount to the first hinge and gently applied pressure for 10 seconds to let the glue settle in. Then we add a glue to the second hinge and repeat the same process. Now we're left with a product that opens and closes seamlessly. Then I'm going to take a ruler to mark where I'm going to drill my holes. I'll be creating two rows for better cross ventilation so do the same for both sides. I used my thumb to hold the drill bit steady and it also helped me align where I'm drilling so it will come out relatively straight. It's good to have a ventilation on the side as it helps keep humidity which some species do require. I dropped in this piece of cork bark as it will serve as a natural hide. Then I take a cup full of cocoa fiber and spread it evenly across the enclosure. And I make sure to pack it down to provide a firm foundation when they do burrow. I wouldn't want it to collapse on them so. And I made sure to leave plenty of space under the hide to encourage the OBT to use it as their home. Then I dropped in some sphagnum moss to make it look pretty and also help retain moisture. And lastly, we put in a water dish for the OBT to drink. It's not necessary, but I like to overcomplicate things. The time has finally come to transfer our OBT to its new enclosure. Even though I've kept tarantulas for a while, it still makes me a little nervous. These guys are pretty fast, so I have to be ready. I took a paintbrush and used it to poke until it comes out, but in retrospect, I should have used a thinner one. I probably annoyed it too much, and what he did was not what I expected. Okay, let's try that again. Hopefully this time, he'll stay put. I should really be more gentle and do it very slow. He pretty much dive into the enclosure, straight into his hide, but I think he likes it. I'll leave him be for about a week to settle in to his new home because it was a pretty stressful situation for him and I. It's been about a week since we last saw him and he has made the cork bark cave his new home. He has slowly started webbing up to his new space and he took a piece of sphagnum moss and used it at the entrance to his lair. Overall I'm happy with what he's done but I know this enclosure won't be the forever home because he will grow much larger but until then this will suffice. dropped in a cricket to celebrate his move to a new home and I think he will be very happy. Let's leave him alone so he can enjoy his meal cause it probably takes a lot of energy to renovate the home. So until next time.